Good morning to our beloved listeners and our grade 12 students of Davao de Oro. This is Teacher Lester J. U. Salaw of Attorney Orlando S. Rimando National High School, your presenter, and Teacher Paul John Infante from Lorenzo S. Sarmiento National High School, your creative resource developer. And we are your companion for today. You are listening to Z Radio 88.5, Radio Z Escuela. You can also listen and watch this episode via live stream at Z Radio 88.5 and DepEd Tayo Division of Davao de Oro Facebook pages. So grade 12 students, are you ready to go deeper in physical science? I know you are really excited for this subject here in Radio Z Escuela. This subject will bring you new learnings and amazing lessons that will make you more awesome. I believe that our grade 12 student listeners are so comfortable tuning in to Radio Z Escuela, sitting on their chairs and soap couches, relaxing and wearing their headphones, or tuning in the radio or scrolling in Facebook. So just sit tight and relax. Bring with you your module, your notebook, and pen all throughout the discussion so you may take down notes, learnings, and as well as questions for clarifications. The following are some reminders in using your module. Number one, use the module with care. Do not put unnecessary marks on any part of the module. Use a separate sheet of paper in answering the exercises. Number two, don't forget to answer what I know before moving on to other activities included in the module. It is a multiple choice activity that aims to check what you already know about the lesson to take. Number three, read the instruction carefully before doing each task. As for this episode, I will be with you as we accomplish some of the tasks and activities for the quarter one, module 13 of the subject physical science. Number four, observe honesty and integrity in doing the tasks and checking your answers. Number five, finish the task at hand before proceeding to the next. Number six, return this module to your teacher, facilitator, once you are through with it. Today, we will continue to discover a new lesson. And can you guess our topic for today with this scene? For our breaking news, Malitang pampamayanan, panatilihing malinis ang bahay. Malaging kumamit ng mga produktong panlinis, pamuksa ng mga mikrobyo, para iwas sakit at hindi mahawaan ng COVID-19. Para pamilya ay siguradong ligtas at malakas. Isang munting palala, galing sa DepEd Division of Davao de Oro. Pioneering, propagating, and producing. So can you now guess our topic for today? Hurry up! Tell me your guess! Yes! You are right! Our topic for today is about uses 
of ingredients of cleaning products use at home. These are our objectives. At the end of this discussion, the grade 12 students will Letter A Know the uses of common examples of cleaning materials for the house. Letter B Identify the uses of other ingredients of cleaning products at home. Letter C. Appreciate the use of the other ingredients in cleaning products. Kindly open your modules on page 6 to 7 and lend me your ears. And do not change stations because after this, I will ask corresponding questions based on the given discussion. We know that cleaning is one of the very common household chores on our daily lives. We do cleaning in our houses, offices, and schools. Cleaning can be done easier and quicker if cleaning products are to be used. These cleaning products come in different forms such as liquid, powder, sprays or granules and are formulated to be used in the removal of dirt, dust, stain and bad smells on various areas. With the different household cleaning products that we have in the market today, we don't know which of these is best to use our household. We assume that these cleaning products are safe to use. In fact, many popular household cleaners are dangerously toxic. They contain different ingredients that are harmful to our health. And together with the active ingredient, there are other ingredients found in cleaning agents. Let's look at their uses. Let's have the chemical ingredient, the builders. Builders are one of the important group of ingredients that help make cleaning products better. Builders are added in surfactant to give it a helping hand to make it more powerful by reacting with stuff found in tap water containing calcium and magnesium that leaves white marks on surfaces of our dishes. These builders help to prevent this by keeping the minerals out of the way of the surfactants. Samples of these surfactants are detergents and soaps. These are compounds that lower the surface tension of water, making the molecules less likely to stick with each other and interact more with oil and grease. The next other ingredient is solvent. Solvents are used as ingredients in cleaning products to give the right thickness so it will be easy to use and prevent liquid products from freezing in cold temperature. These chemicals decrease the viscosity, meaning the liquid will move faster when poured out of the bottle. We also have the chemical ingredient. Enzymes. Enzymes are powerful stain removing ingredients. Its power is to break down stains. Just like the enzymes in our digestive system helps break down the food we eat. These enzymes are not living organisms but are created by naturally occurring microorganisms 
like bacteria and fungi. When we talk about pleasant smell, the first thing that comes to our mind is uh, fragrance. Fragrance is an ingredient that provides good odor in the cleaning product. They are not found in every product and typically a very small amount can make a large difference in smell. We also have here the chemical ingredient preservatives. This ingredient is used to make cleaning product stable and safe for a longer period. We also have here the chemical ingredient pH adjusters. Every cleaning product needs to be balanced to work well and to be safe for your skin. That is why pH adjusters are added as an ingredient in such cleaning product to raise or lower the pH of a solution, making it either more basic or acidic. The amount used depend on the other ingredients in formula. pH is a measure of how acidic, like lemon juice, or basic like baking soda a solution is. We also have here the chemical ingredient dye. Dye are used to give a product color. We also have foam enhancer. This ingredient in cleaning products help create suds or bubbles. Even though it is not necessary for effective cleaning Many people feel bubbles show that a product is working. Cleaning washes away germs with any dirt and soil that is removed. But further reduction of germs can be achieved by using additional ingredients that will kill germs. That is why we have the antibacterial or disinfecting ingredient. Antibacterial or disinfecting ingredients can be included in a cleaning or hand hygiene product or used separately after cleaning. Their use provides a further reduction in germs on our hands or surfaces in our homes. This reduction of germs helps to prevent people from getting sick when commonly used surfaces such as door handles or our hands are cleansed using these products. In environments with sick individuals where food is prepared, this is especially important, especially today, that we are facing health emergency crisis. We need these disinfectants for us to be safe and not be affected in such deadly diseases. So remember, safety first. Always wash your hands properly and use these disinfectants for protection of your health. And we will be back after this short break. The Rajo Z Spella program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Archicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation. NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Mays Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc. Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. And we are back. What an awesome discovery we have here about uses of ingredients of household cleaning agents 
Right, grade 12 student listeners? Yes! Since we have learned about the uses of ingredients of household cleaning agents, it is now right time to discover ourselves on the learnings and understanding we have gained based on the discussion. It's assessment time! We are going to do some assessment to test if you really listen all along. But before doing so, ready your notebook and your ball pen, for you will answer the questions that I will be giving you. I think our notebooks and ball pen is ready. So, we are going to start the assessment. Open your module in page 10 up to 11. You are going to identify ingredients of cleaning products based on the given uses of these ingredients as I'm going to dictate it. Please listen properly grade 12 students so that you can catch up and give the right answer on the given definition. Are you ready? So I think everybody is ready now. Let's start. I have here the following different ingredients of cleaning products. Antibacterial, builders, dye, enzymes, foam enhancer, fragrance, pH, pH adjusters, preservatives, and solvents. By these different ingredients of cleaning products, as I mentioned, you are going to choose and write the correct ingredient based on the given uses of ingredients that I am going to say. First question, used to wash away germs with dirt. What ingredient of cleaning product is it? Come on guys, the clock is ticking. Start writing your answer. Okay, and the right answer is antibacterial. Congratulations for those who got it correct. Second question. It is used to give surfactants a helping hand. What ingredient of cleaning product is it? And your time has begun. Start guessing. Get that brain working and write your answer. Alright, the correct answer is builders. Yay! Third question. It is used to create suds or bubbles. What ingredient of cleaning product is it? Come on guys, the clock is ticking. Start writing your answers. The right answer is foam enhancer. Fourth question, it is used to give cleaning agents the right thickness. What ingredient of cleaning product is it? The right answer is solvents. Fifth question, it is used to make the product balance. What ingredient of cleaning product is it? Tick tock, tick tock. Time is running. Write your answers now. Okay, the right answer is pH adjusters. 
Please stay tuned. Don't change your frequency for a short break. The Radio Zispela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Arquicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. And now we are back. We are going to continue our discussion for the household cleaning products. Now it's time to what I have learned. What I have learned. Oops. Grade 12 student listeners, do not forget to start your sentences with what I have learned. In today's lesson, what I have learned that antibacterial Builders, dye, enzymes, foam enhancer, fragrance, pH adjuster, preservatives, and solvents are common examples of different ingredients of cleaning materials for the house. I also learned that these different ingredients have different uses as ingredient in the cleaning materials for the house. So, grade 12 student listeners, did you enjoy your discovery for today about household cleaning agents? All right, do you find it interesting to share it with others what you learned from today's learnings? So, keep learning, keep discovering, until tomorrow for our new discovery lessons to enjoy only here in Z Radio 88.5 Radio Z Escuela. And this is Teacher JJ saying, knowledge is power. Have a great day. Radio Z Escuela Executive Committee. The school's division superintendent, Yofemia T. Gamutin Seso 5. Assistant school's division superintendent, Dr. Romel R. Handayan. OIC, curriculum implementation division chief, Karina S. Frasco. School governance and operations division chief, Dr. Roben J. Riponte. Members, Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña, Dr. Arlene B. Lim. Dr. Eldecris B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Noemi P. Canales, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Virgilito C. Pabrises, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangi, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Dalan S. Milabat, Medard T. Ampit, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee Productions and Communications Lori Lee E. Quijano Given G. Hinampas Judy Land D. U. Donna D. T. Bolfer Mary Rose N. Resma Riven Manuel Irene Lea C. Manguhon and Bessie Aya N. Banias Social Media and Packaging Team Christian Anhara L. Martesho William R. Ranara, Joan T. Iscoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Estanyol, Richard H. Arellano, Glee L. S. Blanco, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo Gutierrez Jr., and Jade Karen Araiz.